NYC Ghoul. And we're back. We're Batman. We're supposed to be looking around Selena's apartment last time I remember. She can afford to eat anywhere and she still chooses Chinese takeout. That isn't even a good place. That was no bats. Caviar. Be strong magnets on these things. Very lightweight though. They could use something like this. <laughs> Steel cat claw. Let's put it back. Let's put it back. I, what, what, what do I need it for? <clears throat> we gonna put it in your bulge in your goddamn pants? Damn. I didn't even noticed, Bruce. Shit, that thing heavy. Check you out. Scarlet Pimpernel, much ado about nothing. Petrarca. <laughs> Didn't take her for a romantic. What's this one? Oh, the Gita Govinda. That's academic. I don't know any of those, so. Let's stoop her fridge. Just, just open it. I want to look inside. It's open. It looks all right to me. Nothing growing, at least. Your dad asked me to pick up the um, cream cheese, too. Okay. At least she's got the essentials. You don't have the answer. Grown. Harvey. Ooh. Hey, I uh, I brought yeah. breakfast. C can I come in? I don't know if that's such a good idea. It, just for a minute. I really need to talk to you. <laughs> At least the game is messy. If you want me to go? I'll go. Come out, bro. But I have to get this out. Whoops. Oh. What? The... Seriously. What are you doing here? Have a seat, Harvey. No. I don't need to sit down. Bruce, tell me what is going on. Oh. I just came by to check on Selena. What, with your pants off? <laughs> <laughs> don't. Don't touch me. I thought I would come here and... <sighs> so stupid. God, I should have known. I should have known that you would do this to me. Not if it was real anyway. God, how could you ever think it was? I shouldn't have come. <laughs> Harvey, I'm sorry. For what? We have nothing to be sorry for. I don't answer to him, and neither do you. He... He will not be able to protect you. And I don't need him to. Just... Get out of here, Harvey. What happens when the children of Arkham come for him? You think you won't get caught in the crossfire? You can't stop them! He can't. Are you ready to die on that altar? I may go down for what my father did, but I won't take her down with me. She'll be fine. Ah, oh, funny. Thinking you have a choice. Thinking you can save the people around you. Yeah, breath stay. Back up. Thinking you could do what Harvey couldn't! I'm sorry. What the hell is going on with you? Up until now, Harvey has been weak. He's been afraid. Oh my god. This... This is the monster they all know that you are. Embrace it. No, no. I mean, the memory's already broken. God, this is what you wanted to see, isn't it, huh? The freak! Harvey. <laughs> now you've got two seconds. Or what? Harvey won't be pushed around anymore. No, he's gonna make them pay. Everyone who thought they could hurt him and get away with it. Starting with you. Both of you! You're gonna pick that up. Who oh, am I? Yes, you are. This isn't you. Just calm down! <laughs> Shut up! Whoa. Jesus, Harvey! Of course, gotta be fair about this. Can't play favorites. They both deserve it, one way or another. Uh, how about we flip for it? 
This isn't funny. No. No, it really isn't. Selena, looks like you're first. Yeah, always getting in the middle of things. Stay the hell away from me. The call's already been made. Harvey. Ooh, Bruce. No, I don't want to hurt you. This isn't, they turned their backs on you. Harvey, put the knife down. <sighs> Selena! <sighs> He's gonna hurt someone. You know we can take him out. <sighs> Have you lost your mind? <sighs> no. <sighs> Harvey! You need <sighs> to calm down. What are you doing? No going back now. Harvey, that's enough. <laughs> I can't even touch you. So you matter yourself. Oh God. Please. I don't want to be alone, Bruce. Please, not with him. But I can't. Oh God, I can't listen to him. You're not alone. We're right here. Okay. Yeah, I am. I am. I am. My fault. Harvey, don't. Bruce, I... I don't think we can help him. Not on our own. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. He's my friend, Selena. I'm not going to abandon him. He needs professional help. Help you can't give him. It's okay, Bruce. I'll go. I don't deserve your help. Go off with your tail between your legs. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Harvey! <sighs> so much for this place. I'm not gonna stick around and wait for him to come back. I thought it would be a while before I had to move again. That's what I get for wishful thinking. Yeah, you're right. It's not safe to stay here. And I'm not sure I'm gonna find another place with this kind of private access. Ugh. Maybe I'll live on a boat. <laughs> Kidding. Yeah. That means you too. We won't go far. Don't worry. I'm gonna offer, but I know she's not gonna stay. You should come stay with me. Uh, I don't know. There's plenty of space. Alfred could set up a guest room for you. I'll think about it. <sighs> Great. What was that about? I'm supposed to announce my resignation at a press event today. Somehow try to appear happy that Oswald Cobblepot is taking my job. Sounds like an opportunity. How do you mean? They screwed you out of your own company. You have all this information that could bring them down, and they're handing you a live mic. So use it. Don't be their puppet. I need to warn everybody about the children of Arkham. They have big plans for Gotham. Hopefully they'll listen. You better get going. I've got some packing to do. The offer still stands. Sounding better and better by the minute. <laughs> Sometimes I make random noises when I feel like I've been too quiet for too long. That have been quiet for too long. Yeah.
I'm sorry about all this, Bruce. We've... Uh, we've prepared a brief damage control statement to make this easier. After I introduce you, all you'll have to do is read what's on the teleprompter. And then I can take it from there. Got my little coronation speech just waiting. Thank you for being so cooperative about all this, Bruce. It really is for the best. For everyone, really. I know it's unfair to ask this of you, but please. Right now, your reputation, your entire legacy, depends on your cooperation. Whoa. Get through today, and I can help you. I can convince the board to bring you back. It might not be CEO, but it will be something. A step to regaining what you're being forced to give up. Of course, Regina. Whatever I can do to help. That's good, Bruce. Trust us to sort this all out. Everything will be fine. Already then, we are going to make quite a splash today, aren't we? I don't think I'm ever going to forget this day. Beautiful weather, corporate intrigue, a well-deserved comeuppance, a noble hero riding in to save the day. Oh, don't worry, Oz. I'll make sure you remember every moment. Meaning? That's enough, both of you. <laughs> it's time. Bruce, I'm going to introduce you and then you're on. Please, stick to the teleprompter. Nope. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here. Wayne Enterprises has always taken its role in the community very seriously. Isn't it funny and we've all how everything I said to you in the park has come true? Me and taking everything that's yours, and that's not even a punchline. No, oh, dear, over decades, not even close. We have no one's going to follow you around and take pictures you. now. It'd almost be sad if you were so bloody handsome. You're just a pawn, Oswald, and everyone knows that pawns are meant to be sacrificed. Uh, perhaps, but at least I, like I get the joy of watching your shocking and surprising descent first. This is just a first step towards making things right. Soon enough, it'll be Cobblepot Industries, Cobblepot Medical, and Cobblepot Tech on tops of buildings, and you, Wayne, will be what you should have been all along. A forgotten footnote. Cobblepot will come to mean the future of Gotham. And Wayne will be a story no one wants to hear. What happens to my company is up to the board. I think you're a little deluded about the type of power you're gonna have. All in good time, all in good time. It's amazing the sort of patience I've developed over the years. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did some digging, and you know how Old Hill admitted he had your mom and dad killed? I found out why he did it. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell you the story, but only if you say, pretty please. It's quite the page, Turner. I'm sure you're just dying to hear it. Mm -hmm. Aren't you, Bruce? I don't need to know why. Hill had them killed. That's all that matters. Well, I certainly didn't expect that. But suit yourself. Now you'll never know what part your mum played in it. And now... Bruce Wayne would like to say a few words. Remember, enjoy yourself, Bruce. After all, you never know how <sighs> much time you really have left. <sighs> I'll go for it. Ladies and gentlemen, in light of recent allegations against my family, I have decided to voluntarily step down as CEO of Wayne Enterprises. I was horrified to learn of my father's corruption. I am ashamed of his actions and would like to apologize to Gotham for the pain he has caused so many of you. I'm sorry. That's it, mate. I have complete faith in the board as they work towards well, righting the wrongs just sound of the past. Like I'm going to sound wild, so let's read it. Uh. Mr. Wayne, 
Are you having trouble reading the teleprompter? Shut the f With that, I am excited to announce Oswald Cobblepot. He's an international entrepreneur with a Gotham legacy. He is by far the best candidate to replace me. <laughs> You're too kind. Yeah, one of the options should sound wild. The company is in great hands. Oswald will lead Wayne Enterprises and Gotham City into a new era of financial prosperity. And so, with that, Oswald Cobblepot. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Bruce. You did very well. Great words from a great man. I would first like to express my deepest gratitude for the man I'm replacing. Nice statement. The press seemed to eat it up. I rather enjoyed it myself. Not that it'll change anything. I did what I felt was right. Yeah, well, someone has to. I just didn't think it'd be you. I am extremely grateful. It's not an easy thing. Dropped your pen. That's not. Uh, you feel that? I'm sure some of you remember. That's the drug taking hold of you. Don't fight it. You. You're with the children of Arkham. No. I am the children of Arkham. Oh, wow. I think it's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. And you already know the penguin. Look at him up there, taking everything that should belong to you. Mocking you, the slug, insignificant bastard. He thinks he can get away with it. Because none of them know who he really is. They wouldn't believe you if you told them. And if we can just get one more round of applause for my best friend, the man of the hour, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Wayne. <sighs> Ouch, someone's a little touchy, it seems. It would be so easy to get rid of him. Who else will deliver justice? What right. doctor? <laughs> Why you a hater? You don't see this bulge? You don't see this bulge, my nigga? <laughs> Did it get bigger? That thing swaying. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Is that my blood? God, I hope it's mine. I can appreciate a good sack. Psychotic break and they draw you an arc. I'm Bruce Wayne. This can't be real. All right. <laughs> Better be. 
decent. You a Settled. hater. Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. Of course, I could make an exception for you. You can tell me why I'm in Arkham Asylum for a start. What? Rich boy doesn't remember? Oswald Cobblepot? You beat him to a bloody pulp. Nearly killed him. Landed you here. Any of this ringing a bell? Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. What? Oh, y'all want smoke. As you were. Okay. You look just like him. Your this father ever tell you about my me? butt? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. So won't be me. I hope to God there is a hell. I want your daddy to see what I do to you. Go on, then. Hit me. Don't get cocky, Wayne. Other, who will, right? What is going on in here? It's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy is tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. We have a very strict no-fighting policy here in Arkham. If you can't obey that rule, you're going to find yourself in hot water fast. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe. I'm Bruce. But I need you to be careful. Motherfucking Wayne. <sighs> Why nice do I not have like 12 together. boys or some shit? Why am I here? Come to me if anything happens. Thank you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? You just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> Get what you fucking deserve. John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. That sounds sexual. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. There's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! <laughs> I count it. It's just the right amount of tiles. You know, Doc, our last session was 
So enlightening. That's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself better. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. I can't taste anything! I want a taste! <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a taste. Gotta be Get your hands, hands off me. Bruce. Some of these guys bite. Well, people have to unhinge his jaw. Ah, uh, here we go. Game bugs. You remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well... <laughs> <bet Okay. laughs> No, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill me. You don't know the president. <laughs> they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number to this. Stop. I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. As much money as, as I had played. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. Guardian Gotham. And watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. Thanks for the heads up. I appreciate you showing me around like this. I'm a giver. I think what that's I sad. I always try to keep an Another eye guy out with the for puppet. I don't remember his villain name, though. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, sh sh his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! Where is the remote? One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Oh, I almost forgot. Here. What is this? It's a key made of cocaine. Do we want to talk to Billy? <laughs> Is Billy okay? <laughs> He's legit just pacing around the same fucking wall. That's the way the cookie Billy. crumbles. Billy, wait, come on. Cookie. What can I speak to? Cookie her? crumbs. That's it. <laughs> yes. You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just. Just shove off, all right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. I solved All right, so Not we're gonna leave Billy alone. Sorry, sorry. It's just, it, it just. Oh, wait. Let's not mess with the gestures just yet. Who's this? Sane Lewis. <laughs> I'm, I'm not really crazy, you know. In case you were wondering. Well, don't worry, I'm not crazy either. Yeah, right. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. So by that logic... <laughs> uh... Sure. <laughs> Alright. Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. And Never anything good on, is there? Wait, that's the move you're going to make? Huh? Yeah. Why? Uh, 
No Arnold Wesker. No Hello. Hello? Go away. Arnold's busy. I swear, if you bother him, I will gut you. Nice trick. Listen, pal. Arnold's had a tough time in here, and he doesn't need bullies like you making his recovery harder. So unless you have something important to say, get lost! Lewis! Now what? <laughs> what can you tell me about uh, John Doe? John? Uh, nothing. I, I don't know anything. John? Ah, I love that guy. Makes me laugh. Wanna know something weird? No one remembers the day John came to Arkham. Not even the doctors. They don't have any record of him ever being committed. You'd think a freak with green hair would be pretty goddamn memorable, right? <laughs> but yeah. Nothing. Okay. Batman really did a number on this guy. Just let him be. What's that? I still want to talk to him. Not polite at all. At all. Doctor says that's against rules. I'm not giving state, him the key. I'm not mind control. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. Zaz, Zaz. He cheats. Every time he cheats. Sees what I'm thinking. Mind control. Cheater. I told you, if I could read minds, I certainly wouldn't waste my time on yours. <sighs> Bruce Wayne. You've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. Guy I walked in here with. What can you tell me about him? John Doe? A lot of folks are scared of him. Yeah? Why is that? Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic. Unpredictable. Not speaking as a... <clears throat> as a professional. I find his work a bit sloppy. But he's certainly enthusiastic. I'll give him that much. All right. Let's see. Damn, can you walk any slower, Bruce? Hey, uh, I was wondering about... It's not lunch yet. <laughs> oh, actually, <laughs> I it's wasn't... It's not time for meds, either. Beat it. So rude. All of Not the right key for this. I don't think the key gonna work for anything in this room, honestly. Let me get too hot. But I'm gonna try it just in case. There. Yeah, I forget as much. Your key it didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it though, didn't you? <laughs> That's... That's hilarious. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local Skytrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one, this one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, 
I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. <laughs> Double crossing <laughs> two-faced. I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Oh, well, you had a good run, right? Harvey was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Sounds like you need better friends. Slim pickings around here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Ah, oh, oh my God. Won't someone save my baby? This isn't a joke. Their war is going to destroy Gotham. That's what makes it so funny. All those people caught in the middle. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicki. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicki is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Can your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Ooh, I'd love to see that. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cops hadn't dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. That wasn't me. It was just pump full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. I'm not like her. I don't need vengeance. Really? Sounds to me like you've got more in common than you're willing to admit, Bruce. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gotta be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not going to do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I can... <sighs> Assume I can take care of that. It's gonna come at a price. 
When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor, okay? Just one? Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? Man, I'll just lie to you. Sure, one favor, that seems fair. Excellent. We'll have loads of fun. You'll see. All right, tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Ah! No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now! My skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Stop! Someone give me a sedative! <laughs> Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> Watch the game. <laughs> <laughs> Call security! <laughs> uh. Hello? Alfred. Ah, it's you, sir. It's so good to hear your voice. I've been trying to contact you, but they wouldn't let me through. They told me you'd lost your mind. Contact my lawyers. You'll need to post bail, but that shouldn't be a problem. You have got to get me out of here. I'll see what I can do. I have to go. <laughs> oh, Bruce. I have not had this much fun in ages. Let me tell you how to find Vicky's stash of missing drugs. Ask the fails. Quickly, come on. Good luck on the outside, Bruce. I just know you're gonna put on quite a show. Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. Doctor, I swear to you, I was not involved in any of this. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. One moment. Seems you have a visitor. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Alfred. Ah, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. He is to be released into my care. You may have the money to make this go away, but this is going to hurt you in the long run. Shut up. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. Draw a brick of money on our face. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. I appreciate your concern, Doctor, but I assure you, I'm fine. You don't know that, Bruce. I'm the medical professional, and from everything I've observed, you're clearly in need of treatment. I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. I will see you on the outside, Bruce. I can't wait! <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> Boing on cube.
<laughs> well, I just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you out so quickly. No kidding. Batman's got some work to do. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. I don't care about public opinion. And neither should you, Al. Uh, I wish I could agree with you. But the more people call out for you to receive justice, the harder your other job could become. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. I'll be fine, Harvey. I can handle myself. I don't think you understand the danger you're in. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared, panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. You're pathetic, Harvey. Not even mayor for a week, and already the pressure's gotten to you. No. I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. That isn't how I wanted things to go down either, Harvey. And I'm really sorry they did, but that is no excuse for this... ridiculous crusade against me. I don't need an excuse. You're a criminal, and I'm coming for you. Bruce? Bruce! We're done talking. What's going on here? <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. If we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Ooh. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! Of course. Should've known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next Cobblepot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. I am tired, I am hungry, I haven't showered in three days! I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this car run you over, and then back up again, just to make sure it did the job! Bruce. Shut up, Alfred, I can handle this! Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! They should lock you up! Oh, God, I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Nowhere to run, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! All right, now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded, hmm? And well-armed? 
What do you say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Hey, the mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! I guess I'll back up! Back up, people! Bruce! Hey! Your father committed innocent people to Arkham and made sure they stay there for the rest of Here! It's everything I have, okay? Sure, that'll work. This isn't over. Yeah, sure. Take it up with City Hall. It'll be funny if you turn the corner and it's another blockade, and they're like, yeah, so you gotta pay us too. <laughs> Selena, you on my body. I literally just got out. Nah, I don't want to hear that. We got stuff to talk about. What do you mean you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news, yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants. You know what? I'm gonna end it right there. I ain't got much time left. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, that's my time. Like, share, and subscribe. Remember, you are loved and appreciated. And I will see you in the next video.